and what day is it? Thursday. Thursday? Yeah. Uh, I'm still on my mission because I haven't really done much painting this week at all. It's been sort of admin planning, I don't know, lots of things and I haven't managed to find my way into the studio but I'm here. Uh, I'm still on my mission as I'm saying to um, clean out my palette. So just randomly add in uh, the Sennelier white oil pastel. I've uh, got my supplies ready, um, got my coffee out and just thought we'd do it like I'm having a chat with you as if we were in the studio together. I'm left with my palette. I'm uh, not sure it looks much cleaner than when I started this but hey hey, right. Let's, um, yep, still going back to the same old, I think it's cosmic blue and an indigo. And, oh. I think I might splodge some of that in my tea, uh, coffee even. Oh, well, good job it's only water at this stage, is it? And I did sort of have this thought that if any of these, I don't know, it is quite thin paper and this is some old, um, I've run out of the edging tape, the edge tape, so I'm waiting for Mr. Jackson's delivery. Um, we shall see. Uh, what does this thing like? Because I'm having this sort of art and yoga soiree come, come December. So I was sort of thinking like, well, if any of these sort of turn out not too bad. I could probably chop them up and put them in bags and sort of as a little ticket item. We shall have to see. Right. Initial splodges. It's funny, isn't it? You know, you work intuitively, um, and then I react to what's on the paper of what I've done, and immediately I sort of quite like this one, but I try not to be too precious about it. Don't like those blobs up there. Got pigeons on the roof. Not so keen on this one, but. Yeah, it's, uh, as I say, it's Thursday here, soon for the weekend. Uh, this weekend, but I think it's, well, we've got tickets to go to Art in the Garden, which is in Sheffield. So we're going to go and see what that's all about. I'm going to have a look and see whether I think it's worth me applying next year. Don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm thinking of while I'm doing these. It's still that sort of landscape, seascape. That uh, the coast. So I'm not really sure what colour it is. It's going to turn out a bit of a mixture. It's just sort of a neutral anyway. not quite sure I like it here but I'm trying to not be too judgmental straight away which is uh, um, I'd say quite difficult for me I do have that tendency to oops to be straight away like oh, I'm not so keen on that so a bit more. as I say I think it was a tiger's eye genuine but I think it's got mixed in with that Davies grey or whatever so it's just a, a neutrally grey colour, shall we say. It should be like 
I quite like the Tiger's Eye Genuine because it sort of looks sort of brown when it comes out the tube, if you like. But then it does sort of granulate into greys and sort of a slight purpley uh, touch. Right. Uh, I think this was the Moon Glow. I'm going to just, like I say, still trying to use up all these colours. This could take me, like I said, a while. I have to say, I didn't see the blue moon last night. It was rather cloudy out here when I looked out and then I forgot to look out a bit later. So mm. I've missed my chance now, haven't I, for the next, what is it, 15 years or so. Right, the thing with these is that you have to sort of let it dry a bit then to then go back in and add more colour. Not quite sure I like this sort of solid block there, but. Oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I was me trying to be clever, do two things at once. And splotched. That'll teach me, won't it? I'm trying to get some of the tiger's eye and do it. This is the sepia ink, as you know. It's the really newish bit from um, Dale and Rowney with their new formula. As I say, I did contact them and ask them because you know it seemed to be a different colour, and they did go right that they had changed the formula. And I must have had some of the old batch, and you know, basically, this was their new formula going forward, and they they were going to stick with it. So. Um, there we are. That was, it's not so much I don't like the, the sepia, it's just, you know, like, you always have this image in your head of sepia as being um, the old photographs, you know. And it, that sort of colour. Um, and this new formula seems more on the brown grey side as opposed to the browny ochre Okay, is that a word? I don't know. Anyway, if it is, I've just said it's a word. So, I think this will definitely be a case of coming back to it. As I say, the paper is quite thin. Um, obviously, like as I say, on this. Mission two, where it wasn't just use up old paint out my palette, it was to use up. I've got so many sheets of paper here that I've torn into bits, and some of them I've put tape on, and some I didn't. And obviously, the longer you leave the tape on, it leaves behind that tacky residue. Uh, obviously, I'm just dropping in here the um, Windsor and Newton is granulation fluid because the sepia does granulate quite beautifully, I have to say. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it from up there, but uh, when they're sort of dry, and I will, I will try and do some close-up shots. And even though these are just exercises in, well, they're not, you know, it's just a mission to sort of, um, 
use up what's in my palette. Like I say, it could be a long while. I'm still sort of looking at them with a bit of a critical eye. Still quite like this one. It seems to have more energy. Um, mm, no, I don't like this one. Not sure about this one. I don't like the way that's all pulling. So, you know, you can do that, but I don't know. Um, this one, I think, you know, it's a, as I say, it's a case of I'll we'll have to wait until they're dry and then go back in and strengthen some of the areas and see what we've got. I'm just putting the lid on there because I have a tendency to knock things over. That's why I tip my granulation fluid into the lid and then put the bottle right out of the way. Okay, this was this uh, Michael Hardy, what's it called? Dark Morellone Earth. You know, one of those names that just rolls off the tongue. Um, I'll just drop some of this in to have a different highlight. Oh, just fiddling now. I really should let them dry. Well, I'm back. It's a little later. Um, I did come in and just strengthen some of this blue with... I'm not quite sure what this blue is either. Again, a bit of a mixture. Um, so I have just strengthened some of this blue, but as you can see, it's still pools of wet. Um, God, it's just dragging it around just to just to darken it a bit, just to add a bit more. contrast I think to the shades of blue but I don't know as I'm necessarily now having gone there I'm going to go too mad adding more um, blue wet this kitchen paper I'm not quite sure I'm putting more water on them off um and you can see this one here you know I'm just moving what's already on the paper about a bit and I think I might do now. Oops. Is I don't know. Let's just this is just a HB pencil thing. Spectacular. It's just I always like to sort of think of these lines and marks as as um. I don't know the direction that the wind is blowing swirling around you know we've got bird song trails of the birds you know and all else fails fingers but again you know it's just no need to go too mad with it quite like how this dark mark you got oh, said a little bit of a close-up um Catchy name, Dark Morello and Earth. Like I learned from the previous squares, I prefer it when it's more diluted than this sort of, when it's just out the tube, it's very sort of opaque, blocky shade then. Just draw the lines down, highlight some of these areas. You know, I'm not necessarily saying I'm going to do two more, much more with these. You know, that we're an exercise in using up paint. Um, of course, the next thing will be whether I can get this tape off, won't it? 
we shall see. Um, I'm debating whether they need a bit of highlight of some description. Um, I wonder whether this is a bit of shaving of the... Looks like it's a watercolour pencil. Copper beach one. Um, as you can say through it quite quickly when you do this but it just adds a different dimension and again if you do have to go on to adding water there's always an element of surprise because you know obviously where these go it's quite random you may not be able to hear because there's a plane going over This is the burnt yellow ochre one. Yeah, some of these are just subtle, more subtle, not sort of slap bang in your face marks. And they would require um, a degree of getting up close and personal with the work to see them. But again, I think it sort of goes with the more subtle nature of my work. So, yeah. is now um, really what I need to do is apart from get some clean water uh, is to see if I can remove the tape and then have a look what we've got and then decide if I need to add any little extra highlights so let me just switch this off because you don't need to see this boring bit a bit less than expected just got a little sort of rope pulled it off here and and up here but considering this is like I said I don't know how old the paper is how old the tape is and you know, I did do the sort of sticky on your leg thing you know take a bit of the sticky off um yeah but anyway so I might just take the camera off the tripod now and just show you a few close-ups I know it's still a bit wet in places but um you get the idea anyway right so i've moved it very carefully to the floor just you see my feet there so it just gives you an idea of the size of the paper um but if i zoom in oh excuse creaky knees you can see the sort of where i did the uh, pencil um the watercolor pencil with the, with the um, sandpaper i mean obviously like i'd have to fix this was fixative um and up to this one that I was said I wasn't too keen on initially, but I quite, I quite like this area, quite a lot of interest. I like this one because of the the difference in the white space and the marks. And again, similar with this one. And again, I like this where I've got sort of layers, little added interest. Uh, I don't know, I suppose this one out of all of them, that's the one I'm not so keen on. And then this one. Although I think I perhaps could add a bit more to that one, but uh, quite like that one. Look, don't mind that one. 
um, and then those two I don't mind, you know, whether you'll be able to see this close up, I don't know, and again down here, a bit more, and again over this side where it's all granulated, and I've dropped bits in, so yeah, like I say, it might just be a exercise in using it and trying to clean my palette out, but you know, you learn lessons the whole time. Um, I remember from the previous ones, I didn't like the dark Morello Nurse and the Davy Gray applied sort of like straight out of the tube. I found it too too opaque. I much prefer them when they're more diluted or I've added in little drops of granulation fluid just to see what happens. So yeah, it's onwards and upwards. I might surprise you one day and go with one of the really wow colours that's uh, on the other side of the palette. But for now, we'll um, we'll leave it. So uh, what am I going to do now? I'm going to see if I can edit these things together and then manage to upload them somehow. So fingers crossed. We'll see how we get on.